Hello everyone and welcome back to another segment as of Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Why not? Because a can can and a can can a can can a can can and a wheel. Y'all, I dropped by Nick Cannon's house today and pulled up some tea. Guess who took a flight out to see him on his show? I guess you wouldn't guess. I'll tell you. She goes by the name of Twirl. 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 I'm fabulous. Twirl. 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 Kenya Moore Hair Care. Kenya Moore Hair Care. Get those products if you dare. Get those products if you dare. Share, share, share. Okay? So, yes, honey. Kenya and her fabulous self and her fabulous body that I think <coughs> she definitely enhanced. And when I'm saying enhanced, I'm not like she went and bought her a butt. It's not like that. No, I'm talking about she got into that... Um, dancing with the stars and they show her how to properly eat they show her how to properly hold her stamina they taught her how to dance and when you're doing all that that's just like total aerobics for the whole body child and then quasi's kept lots of them speak it out she said she likes swimming so that's how she got that really really sc sculptured hourglass figure because like i said don't get me wrong she's always had a figure but she lost a lot of weight when she was in training with Dancing with the Stars. And she even said it so herself. And honey, baby, <coughs> she is doing, she is making her body look good without milk. You hear me? But honey, she was over there, sun shining. And she was just, you know, loving on Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon was loving on her. And that uh, whole scene on how his stage is propped up looking like Harlem, New York. She was really, really into that and all of those things. And she was telling Nick about uh, she's single, ready to mingle because she dropped him. And I ain't gonna talk bad about Mark because ain't no sense of fashion. The man, we all saw what he was about and how Kenya tried to assimilate him into her life when he really didn't want to be there. But it was really all about that baby girl, that baby girl she always wanted, Miracle Baby Brookie. Okay? And I think to me, that was the best blessing she could have had from the Lord is getting the baby. Because she's not as uh, loud mouth, foul mouth, just everywhere and nowhere at the same damn time. How she appeared on um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, I think it's season five. You know, she was just er after everybody. And she was handling them too. <laughs> like, she was like, gunshots fired. I'm locked and loaded and I'm ready to spray any itch that I need to. Okay, and put them together. All right, so... I kind of liked her and not liked her when she first came on the scene because it's like she was doing too much, too fast, too soon. So, but as she graduated within the seasons uh, uh, coming ahead and stuff, she was kind of still not my favorite, but I was adapting to her. And I was like, I'd be damned. I was going to let her ruin my Real Housewives of Atlanta show because I was loving it at the time. And I really didn't have a lot of fun things to say about her. Because, like, she was just getting on everybody's nerves. And everybody was getting on her nerves. And it was just like a, a, a side show. Because I was loving myself some Nene at the time. And Portia was a part of that group as well. And I kind of here and there liked it Sheree at the moment. But she just became too much as a a deficit or a flaw. Where she just didn't have a storyline. And, of course, Candy was always there. But it just is what it is. But she said she's liberated. She's finally divorced from Mark. And she's ready to mingle and, and, and get her sexy back on. She even said she's like Stella got her groove back. This, that, and the third. And I'm like, okay, girl, you okay, girl. I see you, I see you. But I want you to just sharpen your tools and, and, and hold your horses. How they say hold your mule? Because I ain't got time to hear about no man or men around Bricky. Now, I know you are definitely... Uh, a person who watches over her, you 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 double check, you vet people that are gonna be around her. You hell, you probably vet your family members. And what I mean by vetting, I mean doing research, doing background checks to see all these people who they say they are and stuff like that. So I don't really have a problem with knowing that Kenya will have people surrounding Brookie when she's away that honestly love her. You know what I'm saying? She She's not going to put Brookie in a situation where she has to think about it. Uh, or I always have to have 
bricky on her mind like how she's doing how they treating her this day and the third so i think she does uh have a good head on her shoulder when it comes to making sure bricky is taken care of when she's not in earshot or ear eyes of her my, my only concern is these men you picking kenya honey because we see how her daddy is and i ain't gonna talk about his parental skills because he's not with you anymore so she's not in a, a situation where she has to hear y'all fight and fuss all the time and probably hear you cry all the time she's trying to figure out why my mama crying and why my daddy hiding and all this kind of stuff so you don't have her in that type of environment which is definitely best for everyone even though a lot of people want to stay because they want to keep their family together just that and third but honey if mama ain't happy or daddy ain't seem like he want to come home and be happy there's a problem so the child cannot flourish in an environment such as that just because you want to have two people under the same roof when two of them two people probably ain't sleeping together one of them probably coming in here and there coming in late in the hour so they don't have to be fooling with them and they they probably sleeping on the sofa so the children are already hunting in on what's going on and ain't nothing good and then it's affecting them if they go to school or they go around their friends and stuff you know they're going to be acting out more than likely because that's the 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 toll it plays on a child when they're upset or they're not happy they start acting out okay and then you had to go to these schools and you got to sit down at the council's tell you what's going on when you already know what was going on but you didn't know it was affecting them to that degree of negativity but um, i'm happy for kenya um i'm glad she's doing the darn thing but my thing is hold your mirror pump your brakes let's just you know you saying you want to get your groove back and stuff are, are you going to be dating men are you going to vet these men are you going to do your, your research because you know you got mark so that was kind of a, a good thing and a bad thing um however you need to do a little bit more investigating you know are is these men liking children do they have children are they divorced have they been married before are they separated you know you got to really ask some questions because brick is at that tender age where she don't need nobody to be uh infringing on her for the negative because she seems happy she seems well balanced um and just an all-around normal or exceptional child because to me it seems like you got her learning stuff every time i see her when i'm on your instagram account which is not that often but you know you put stuff out on youtube or whatever whatever and I'm, I'm looking i'm surveying i said good job good mother i applaud you you know and you definitely trying to stay in the realms of making money leaving a legacy for your daughter if she tends to want to take over your company then again she might want to do something on her own because you're a good asset of learning how to be a good entrepreneur and how to stay in the business world and promote yourself as well as your brand meaning your products because i don't know why people be saying my brand my brand they be talking about themselves that's an old wise tale no it's you we need a product and we need you to act the, the, the um character ways and your demeanor uh to reflect your product that you want to put on the consumers okay so to me your brand is what you're putting out there for people to purchase or buy or take a part of because you're going to be an individual you're going to mess up here and there and it shouldn't af affect your products but as we live in our society today what you do what you say how you move and it dictates whether people want to do business with you so kenya has definitely kept that in mind and she's always um put that first she's always tried to have a positive now i'm talking about after bricky was born i ain't talking about before because kenya was a hot mess she was out there trying to you know um uh, solidify her role on real housewives of atlanta i'm sure she was navigating trying to see you know what's the best fit for her should she be a villain all the time should she be neutral you know she's diff trying different avenues and she you know did all of them exceptionally well especially playing the villain but see that's what i like about kenya she'll tell you pretty much she's acting and then you're gonna get some of her <coughs> and she's mastered that skill that's something um Portia needs to learn and adapt to and harness it. Kenya's very far from the, you know, very ahead of the game. She's going to do real well on anything that she does. Because, like I said, she's always out there and she's in the public and she's doing things for the community, for herself, for her legacy. And they're positive versus what we see from Portia and Nene, you know, which they should have learned. Definitely, Nene should have definitely learned a long time ago because at her age of 54, she ain't changing. And I'm a damn if, you know, we need to uh, 
emulate her in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay, I'm with my um, birth. I be damn. You get a certain age, you just who you are, and that's who you're gonna gravitate. People gonna come to you, or what you put out there. So if you put out bad karma all the time, you're gonna get bad karma come back to you in a sense. But you try to find some positivity out of some bad things. That's a good. That's a good start. That means there's growth there. You acknowledge something in your flaws. Or something in another person's flaws and you can identify that's growth okay it's a learning experience so yeah King was on there she seems very happy nothing was really forced it was just like organic you know it's just like it was meant to happen the interview sailed through real well from what I saw Nick was very appeasing um, Kenya was very receptive to his questioning and you know they played a little game here and there and um, she was kind of a little too chipper, but maybe that's mean because, you know, I, you know, I see Kenya, but she ain't that chipper on the show. But she was just a extra, extra chipper today. So, I don't know. Maybe she was just having a flawless day and she was just feeling herself, you know. You can get like that sometimes. You get like sometimes you're looking good, you're feeling good, the atmosphere is good. So, you just be real chitty chatter chatter uh, and you're smiling a lot and, you know, you just over... Um, called verbalizing yourself in a sense but i got it i see where she was coming from and then hell she might be happy because you know cole was here and she's still ab able to travel a little bit though i would have i mean I, i'm sure they had to test them because i was like baby you going you going out going out of the state now or uh, did nick have his did you get a, a positive or negative check on nick you know what i'm saying because y'all was less than six feet away from each other so I'm, I'm, i ain't thinking about you i'm thinking about baby bricky you know what i'm saying so we need to definitely be cautious of that and then i heard your little potato your tail went out there to jamaica you know trying to film for real housewives of atlanta and stuff breaking out over there so you know i don't know because you know I'm, I'm like i don't like to throw caution to the wind because i i did my due diligence i did what i was supposed to do i, I masked up appropriately i got my two uh injections from pfizer and i did what i was supposed to do and then i still ended up with i've gone uh the virus and uh, pneumonia so i'm like you know i'm trying to figure out still where i got this from even though my daughter them live with me too <coughs> her and her husband they always out in them damn streets but our dog well my daughter's dog he was coughing a lot too so i think he gave it to me and you know from all the coughing and you hold them up and they be um not spitting in your face but you know they might throw some you know what you call it drops or droplets or something in the air and when i was picking him up and whatever and because I know he sneezed on me one time. And shit, I ain't feel good after that. That's when all the shit started going downhill. And that was like a week or so before Christmas. And I don't think, I, they say dogs can't get it. But hell, I, I think they can get it. They breed. They they uh, cough. They sneeze. Um, they got respiratory infections and shit. So, I, I treat them like a person. Plus, I lost my um, my baby son. Y'all know I told y'all about it in October. Whew, and it still affects me today. It won't get another one though. I won't because it's just too detrimental. It's, it's plays with emotions too much. And it's just like I said, it's like losing a family member when you invite them in your heart. So, uh, yeah, King Odo just going on about her business. I was like, I like that interview. Now, that's what I'm, I like to bring good field videos to y'all. It ain't always about dogging a black woman out or dogging out a race out or just dogging people out, period. It ain't all about that. It's what I, what I feel, what I want to have a conversation about. And I want to talk about it. And that's what I do. So, uh, shout out to Team Twirl. Because like I said, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't with nobody on nobody's team. <laughs> you can get it from me good and you can get it from me bad. Everybody can get it. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I, I can get myself sometimes. Put myself in shit. But, uh, yeah, if you're interested in Kenya more products and you love her like that, go on about them products. Honey. I know they were in Sally's beauty store at one time she was having a promotion with them and i think they're one of her stores she has um a, a chain of stores uh, where she's what you call it, collaborating with them in their stores i don't know if they have a lot like they did back in the day because a lot of things have changed with uh you know the virus out there and stuff of that nature and people not being able to come to work because they're sick and this that and the third and keeping up with the distribution process of getting a, a product there to the store for people to buy then you gotta have the p personnel there to charge you out for the purposes purchases you're trying to make and i think they're with walmart too i may have seen them it's either walmart or the drug stores but like i said i'm all natural i'm trying to lock my hair now so I'm not into the her, her kind of products. I'm into more like baby products. Like Johnson & Johnson. Very little 
you know, ingredients in anything uh, that I want to hit in my head. Uh, on my scalp, I should say. But yeah, Kenya's like, she wasn't, you know, she's never really been a bad spokesperson of Mark, um, Bricky's dad. But she did leave you to believe that, you know, she just wasn't loving the relationship. It's always one side, just that and a third. And people that watch the show when he was on, we can, we can identify with her and we can have sympathy and empathy for her. <laughs> well, definitely, I was married before. I ain't going to put a lot on my ex-husband either because you, you're in a relationship together and you got to make it work there's you know yin to yang there's pros and cons there's good times there's bad times and you got to be able to want to weather those storms because everything ain't gonna be good in the hood all the time you see what i'm saying but um it just i guess it came to the point where he just didn't you know y'all know how i feel about the whole situation with her marriage so i ain't no ain't no sense of regurgitating that if you don't know hell i thought it was just a, a promo some she hired him for the, the, the benefits of her, her to get a baby and if he wanted to be the father she, he could definitely stay in her life that was going to be a good thing because she had vetted him and everything so I'm pretty sure if he was a sperm donor or whatnot, she made sure it was top caliber he was top caliber because a man smart as hell has his own business you know sometimes you run into some tax uh, concerns here and there but um, you know allegedly can you got him out of that it's one of the clauses she probably had and he's supposed to do this set of things and then they were going to mysteriously break up you know that's just my thought my conspiracy theory it ain't got to be true but this is what i feel okay and it could have been like most people or some people that felt it, it was a true relationship she's just trying to keep it out of the public eye just stand third but as we all know when you're in the public you're in that fishbowl everything is going to be scrutinized everything's going to be looked at from top to the bottom and they're going to always have eyes on you but when you want to be in that type of industry the music industry Industry, the entertainment industry on a, a, a higher caliber such as a platform large as hers and other people as well uh, you you put yourself into it that's what you wanted so it's we can't feel sorry for you we can't empathize with you to a certain degree or we can to a certain degree because you don't have to be in this type of field you don't have to be in the music mu music industry you don't have to be in the movie industry you know there's a certain other good professions you can be in doctors lawyers school teachers engineers you know it, it, the, the list goes on and on and on but when you're in that type of situation that you've placed yourself into you gotta know you gotta have some thick skin you gotta know everybody's not gonna like you and that's such as life anyway even if you're in a nice profession such as a doctor lawyer teacher everybody's not gonna like you they're gonna have something bad to say about you hell they could probably just not like your looks they could not ha like how you dress your car how you speak how you talk how you interact with people you know you can go on and on and on down the list i just look at them as unhappy people you know what i'm saying unhappy people but if they hang around me long enough they're gonna either be still for me or they're gonna be against me you know being for me could definitely you can learn a lot from me i can learn a lot from you and if my behavior is always bubbly personality i'm fun going maybe it'll rub off on you if you don't have those traits but like i said sometimes you have to be born with it it's god given it's nothing else i can really tell you you know what i'm saying because you got to be who you are all day every day but loving this kenya more loving it loving it loving it i don't know if she's making rounds on every network or a uh, media outlet or social media outlet but she's doing a very good job she was very poised for the conversation um she you know touched on her family life with bricky she touched on you know relationship in the past with her which was her um child's father and she's wanting to revitalize herself by getting to know and getting back into the dating scene so she went from her past present and her future i loved it i loved it all um <laughs> and she was promoting her uh, hair care products as well. And talking about other interests she has in certain charities she belongs to. And, you know, putting money aside for that, for the well-being of the community. I love that. I'm like, girl, who is your PR person? They put you on point. You got all your points out less than 15 minutes of being on that show. <laughs> I'm like, good advertisement and good marketing 101, girl. Pr I'm proud of you, Kenya. Proud of you. And, uh, of course, she talked about, you know, the Real Housewives of, uh, well, the Ultimate Girls Trip. And, you know, she kind of shaded Cynthia a little bit. I, I called it King. I called it. But, you know, it probably went over Cynthia's head. But it just is what it is. You got to find somebody to lightly shade. Um, so we will let you go with that one. But, yeah, Tana, she took that flight out to see Nick Cannon and his uh, talk show. And she, you know, 
chewed the fat with him and all that good stuff and it was a good 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 interview um so i liked it i loved it and i wanted more but it came to an end of course but that's all i have for this video guys for the ones the haters in the back that always say you don't say nothing good about black people you know you uplift someone but there's your uplifting video and i have several in my archive y'all just aren't trying to search for those particular ones okay but when you do good it's shown out there be, uh, being a, a good uh human being and a good spokesperson uh of the community then i'm there for you but i want to see you come and act a fool on these same streets on your social media platform where they got you on our local news saying you robbed stole beat you know <laughs> whatever i'm talking about because then i'm coming i'm coming to my platform i'm gonna tell you how disappointed i was <laughs> I mean, I need to be one way. I need to be one way because little do we know, people younger than ourselves, they're looking at you and they're trying to find who they are. And it's a shame that they can't look into their own household or their family. You know, it might be just a messed up situation like that. But they need somebody to look up to. They need a mentor. And believe it or not, uh, a lot of people do look up to celebrities for that type of um what do you call it for lack of a better word as a mentor i know you don't put yourselves out there to be that but some people tend to want to see you and perceive you as that so like i said good job can you more good job can you more you're looking healthy seems like you got your spirituality on deck you're emotionally stable um uh, you're just a well-rounded individual of what i'm seeing out there and you're living life you're having fun and you're enjoying yourself so good job kudos to you hopefully you will get a male companion if that's what you're seeking uh in your life that can definitely continue to showcase your attributes okay but that's all i have for this video if y'all like it love it gotta have more make sure you subscribe like the videos subscribe to the channel and share my videos if you're so inclined to do so but i'll see y'all next video guys bye bye